My name is Chris Brown. I'm Vice President of Operations here at Competition Cams. My first job was actually with RHS. We, we were some of the first people to build crate engines. And we had a machine shop, and my job was to go pick up those engines from the machine shop, bring them to our warehouse facility, and there I would outfit them to match the customer order. Since I've been here for 29 years, I've been in every department here in one way or another. And today my responsibilities are really wherever there's a, a need. The thing that I enjoyed the least of all the assignments that I've had was retail sales. I have to be honest, I, I much prefer to work in the background than I do to be the guy standing out front waving the flag. In high school, I got the bug. I uh, went to school with some guys who had some decent cars, and I got excited about cars in high school like probably every guy does, but it just bit me a little harder. I had this uh, 76 Camaro that I terrorized the streets in, and when I was first year or so of college, I met some guys that raced dirt track. And I really got interested in dirt track racing. I hung around with those guys a lot. I learned a lot, worked with them on the teams. And that led me into putting together a uh, stock car to run at one of the quarter mile dirt tracks here around Memphis. Went and did that, just wasn't very good at it, just to be honest with you. I had way more power than I needed, obviously, because of working here, but just wasn't a skilled driver at that time didn't have good equipment and you know we raced five nights we had five big crashes put somebody else in the car and started running better in 94 I think we bought a late model stock and raced at Nashville on the 5 8 mile fairgrounds track there and we ran the entire season there we finished every lap of every race even the big 100 lappers and uh, we walked away with rookie of the year that year at Nashville as I matured I went from being a guy that worried about, you know, how does this affect me to a broader scale of, of how does this project help this group? And, and I started thinking about things in a much broader scale. A lot of people call it gaining altitude, but understanding that all these things are not about me. They're not about how it affects the clutter on my desk. It's about how this entire operation works and how it goes forward. That's been the biggest change and that's the thing I'm proudest of is, is I've been fortunate enough to grow in capacity as well as the company has. And understanding our, our true goals and, and what we're trying to accomplish, that's, I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, when we were doing the, the NASCAR thing, working so hard, we were over at Robert Yates's place one day and there was, a, there was an award on the wall that Dale Jarrett had given Doug Yates right after they won the championship. And it had a quote from Harry Truman on it. And I don't, I don't know the exact quote, but basically it says, it's amazing what can be accomplished when no one cares who gets the credit. And that really, really drew to my heart. And I took a picture of it and brought it home and I had that quote put on some comp cam signage and you see them now today all over this place because it really goes to our core. You know, it, it's, it's just one of those things that, that is really important to us because I don't think you see a lot of ego here, not like you do in some other places. And especially considering some of the amazing things that we've accomplished here, it, it really meant something to me and continues to mean something to me today. You know, it's pretty interesting because We've come a long way from high energy cams and, and uh, high energy rock runs. It's, uh, if you'd asked me you know, 25 years ago, would it be this big? No, I have no idea. And where can it go? There's no telling. You know, we are very fortunate to have the, the, the resources that we do to find these new products. I am amazed every day by how simple electronic fuel injection is now. You know, I remember when that was black science and now it is so easy and, and that has been such an amazing uh, market segment. The valve, stu valve train stuff is still great, but some of these new technologies are just incredible. It's just amazing. There's no, no limit to where we can go from here.